Hi, this is David Kirk. These are some tips on completing homework one. Be sure to read the instructions and you can look at my PowerPoint on numbering systems. That will help. Um, the first part of the homework is on binary. And binary is the numbering system that computers use. Um, uh, the very first digital computers use binary computers and all cell phones, any, any device that has a computer in it today still uses binary. Um, and so the idea is to get you familiar a little bit with it because you use binary terms alike when you talk about megabytes and gigabytes. Um, binary numbering system is just, it just has two numbers, zeros and ones, uh, whereas decimal numbering system has ten numbers. And the reason that the binary numbering system exists and that it just has zeros and ones is because computers, uh, since the first digital computer, uh, the electronics in them just have two states. They're on or off. So if, it's, if that uh, electronic circuit is on, then it's a one. If it's off, then it's a zero. So I'm going to open up a word here so I can type some stuff. Now, uh, if you have one binary digit, it's either a zero or a one. And one binary digit we call a bit. If we have eight binary digits, then we call that a byte, B-Y-T-E. I'm just going to type eight random binary numbers. And so once again, that is called a byte. Now a byte is how computer memory is organized in every device that has a computer in it. Is you talk about my bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, and so forth. Um, and so uh, one thing that you're going to look at on the homework is when we store text on a computer, every character of text is stored as one byte of data. So let's look at how that works. First of all, I'm going to open up a calculator. And in the Windows calculator, if you go to the view and to scientific, then you can now convert between decimal and binary. So if I type in a decimal number like 55, then click on binary, you can see what that is equal to in binary. Now, one of the questions is, is how big can a byte be? Uh, well, if I were to type the biggest number a byte could be would be eight ones, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I converted that to decimal, you could see what the biggest number that a byte can be. Okay, now once again, each character of text is stored using one byte on a computer. And so the ASCII chart, which you can find in my PowerPoint, you can find, you can just search for it on the internet. This is our coding system that tells us which number stores each character of text. And you can notice the ASCII chart, like uh, character ASCII number 32 stores a space, ASCII number uh, 81 stores a capital Q, and then we've got ASCII characters for characters with accents. Now let's take a, I want to show you something that works on a, P, that's been working on PC since the first PC. Uh, ASCII number 81 is a capital Q. Okay, I'm going to go back to Word and watch this. If you hold down your Alt key on your keyboard and then on the keypad on the right side of your keyboard, type an 81, that will recreate that ASCII character. So that shows you that a capital Q is actually stored as character 81 in the ASCII chart. Now the ASCII chart is just used for Latin derived languages, you know, English, Spanish, Portuguese, French, and Italian. Uh, there's another coding system called Unicode that has all the characters of all languages on Earth. Okay, let's look at the next part of the homework. And if you scroll down, starting with question number six, uh, we've got questions that ask you how many files of a certain size will fit onto a disk drive or flash drive of a certain size. And these are all just division. Now look at the PowerPoint and learn about what kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes are. Um, and then you can see how big each of those numbers are. So let's look at how to work the first one. Uh, these are just division. 
Uh, number six says, assuming an MP3 song is four megabytes, how many of these songs could have fit on a 60 gigabyte hard drive? And this is just division. What you do is you take 60 gigabyte divided by four megabyte, and that would be your answer. And to do that, 60 gigabyte divided by four megabyte. And what you need to do is write that out. So 60 gigabyte is billion, so that's 60 billion divided by 4 million. Okay, now, if you remember your math, you can now cancel out some of those zeros. So 60 billion divided by 4 million is equal to 60,000 divided by 4. So that's how you get your answer for those questions. And each of those questions is the same. They're just division. Question 9 is about digital cameras. If you go buy a digital camera, or you know most cell phones now have a camera on them, uh, one of the things that they will advertise is how many megapixels are the pictures. You know, every picture is made up of little bitty dots called pixels. And you have a certain number of pixels in width by a certain number of pixels in height. And if you multiply those two numbers together, that gives you how many pixels. Then if you divide that by a million, that will tell you how many megapixels. So like, for example, a digital, the new uh, iPhone 4, I forgot, I think it takes pictures or five megapixels. So that means if you multiply the number of pixels wide by the number of pixels high, that will equal to five million. Uh, number 10 talks about your digital camera. Uh, another metric in uh, digital cameras is how many is the color depth. For each pixel, each dot in the picture, how many different colors it can be. Uh, so what you need to do is uh, a lot of digital cameras, they will advertise 24-bit or 3-byte uh, to store the color of each picture, uh, for each pixel. So look that up. How many different numbers can 24 bits be? You know, uh, so if you just search for 24-bit uh, on the internet, you can probably find the answer, or you can actually go to your calculator and do 2 to the 24th power, and that will give you the answer. Uh, number 11 is what are these file types? You know, when you store a file on the computer, it will have an extension that tells you the file type. And these are just some of the popular file types, and I just want you to look these up uh, and become familiar with them and tell me if that file is a, is it a document, spreadsheet, is it an audio file, or a video file, or an image. And you can really just go to Google and look them up you probably find the answer in Wikipedia uh, for each of these file types. And they're actually fairly popular. A lot of them are just file types of images and audio and videos that you see on the internet. And question number 12, uh, have fun watching that video. It's, you might, hopefully you'll learn a few things about Google you didn't know. Uh, good luck on the homework. Email me with questions.